Here's a fossil of a seed fern. Seed ferns, um, they lived, grew about 305 million years ago. This one came from supposed to be like a coal mine um, in St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm using my OptiTechscope. A little magnification oh, to show you the scale. Here is um, what you're looking at is one eighth of an inch, and the other part is millimeters. Um, and what I like about it is um, overall the specimen, of course. But how this uh, positioning of, of the scope next to it enhances the detail and how I can just basically go over my specimen and see um, even I would say there are reflections certain um, angles of the light that enhance uh, overall impression of that, that fern. Um, this is what's amazing actually. What we are looking is the front of the plate with some mineralization happening. Uh, and I'm moving it by hand so that's why it's sometimes out of focus. But uh, the best part I realized was in the back of the, <laughs> the best part, I don't know, the back of the specimen, there are amazing fragments, uh, there are several species of, of the fern, so it was described when I was purchasing it, but you can see how uh, somehow in that because this is like a call here that I'm looking at um, pretty much. Uh, the, the, the reflection, that color that you see, the brown, oh, there's a beautiful place, it's just an amazing place that makes you think that what you're looking at sometimes looks like some pictures of our planet from high orbit from the NASA space station. Um, anyway, I could spend hours and hours looking at this, uh, but it just shows you how how beautiful uh, everything looks when you can get a little bit closer. And I think, uh, well, this was my best idea to get myself this scalp and enjoy my fossils in a new way. It does help to expand the experience and even the hobby, obviously. So, I know, because there's tons of other detail in here, but here's another area right by the edge. Um, not getting too close. Sometimes I have to figure out that I have to actually back away from it a little bit. Not manipulating with uh, anything on my scalp, just moving it by hand. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I may bring more of my fossils here and show you how they look under my scalp. And thank you for watching.